I want to talk to you about something that is more prevalent today, and that is adult children living at home. Our society has had some changes. It is more expensive for kids to get out and start on their own. Uh, the jobs are somewhat uh, less lucrative, uh, harder to get a position, to get to work up in the company, whereas, you know, years ago when I was graduating from high school, you know, it was pretty easy for me and my friends to get an apartment and still go to college and work to, you know, pay for things. College wasn't that expensive compared to today. And uh, it was just, you know, it was easier. And quite frankly, kids grew up faster back then. An 18-year-old, 19-year-old, 20-year-old was not unusual to be able to get married, manage the home, and be pretty responsible. Nowadays, some kids are still that way, but many are kind of like big kids for quite a while as adults into their late 20s, sometimes even into their uh, 30s. The studies show that there are more children living at home for longer times, and it is something that parents are dealing with. And sometimes when your kid gets into a bad situation, even though the kid is married and has children, the family is coming home to live with you. So how do you handle this? Well, first of all, number one, it's your home. Don't forget that. Your home. Your home that you pay for, that you have a right to enjoy first. Not, it does not belong to the child. The child does not, as an adult, have a right to live in your home. Yes, that is your child. Yes, we love our children. Yes, we try to help our children. But no, we do not have to sacrifice for our entire lives to take care of our children. And there is a time when we say, that's it, go figure it out. And there are times to tell our adult children, no, you can't move home. And it's, you know, for whatever reason you decide. Maybe it's not a good time for you. Maybe it is not a positive situation. Could be that you are remarried to someone that is not that child's parent and it's gonna to be too stressful or the adult child is doing things that will be disruptive to your home with the other children that are living there. Or maybe just disruptive for you and not good because you know what goes on. Not good for you. It's your home. You gotta put yourself first no matter what. I think a really good rule is, you know, as long as your, if, if your child moves home and because you give them permission, as long as you're not interfering with my ability to sleep and my ability to enjoy my home and uh, my ability to do what I need to do, then whatever it is you're doing is okay. But if it's bothering me, keeping me awake at night, if the child is not coming home on time, you're staying up all night like you did when the kid was in high school, you're being woken up when that child comes in the door because the house is small or your bedroom is right next to them or a child has people over and they stay up late making a lot of noise, all those things are not okay if this is your home and you have an adult child there. So what do you do? Well, if your adult child is living at home or wants to move back home, I suggest that you have an agreement. It's kind of like a contract and or a, even a just a, you know, almost like a rent agreement. And that spells out your expectations. First of all, what are the circumstances that the child is coming back to your home or staying in your home? Is it because the child is irresponsible? and isn't working and doesn't want to work and isn't trying to work, then you might want to think twice about letting that child come home because you're going to be enabling that child and also that's going to at some point really get on your nerves and make it really difficult for you to deal with it. Uh, it's going to be an, an additional stressor for you. So think about the why the child needs to be there and if it's a really good reason and if it is enabling your child to get away with doing something that isn't healthy and responsible and good, or if your child truly is in a difficult situation and needs some support for a little while. You're gonna make that agreement. What is the reason the child is coming home? How long does the child get to live there? Open-ended is dangerous and open to all kinds of later disagreements and problems that can ruin your relationship. And so how long? under what circumstances, then what do you expect of that adult child and any other people that are coming home with that adult child? What 
are, is the child supposed to do around the house? What are the rules that need to be complied with? What help do you expect? What money do you expect if that child is gonna live there? And like I said, what conditions are gonna be needed in order for you to enjoy your house, number one, as your house, and also uh, the child's gonna know how long that the uh, permission to stay is gonna be given for and what is expected. And then also there's another issue, and what if that child does have problems? The child has a mental illness, the child has uh, some struggles with addiction that you recognize, but you have made the decision that you still wanna help that child. Maybe the child isn't capable of living out alone, has some problems and can't maybe at this particular time because the problems aren't being handled, the mental illness is out of control, it's not treated, uh, the addiction's not being dealt with, and you know you kicking your child out is not in your child's best interest, and that can be the case, then you're going to have to decide, again, how am I gonna manage this particular illness, not meaning it's your responsibility, but what do I expect the child to do for the mental illness? Like, for instance, you may live at home as long as you take your medication, or you may live at home as long as you are enrolled in a rehab program, or as long as you're going to AA meetings, or Narcotics Anonymous meetings, or as long as you are in college and maintaining a certain grade point average. So in other words, if you see that the child has problems, you might wanna say, what is it that the child needs to do in order to be here so that the child knows that, hey, you know, you have to take your meds, or you have to go to a recovery program. That way, you don't get a child who moves back who's, you know, in full-on addiction and acting out and engaging in the substance and, you know, making your house just horrible and making you to where you can barely stand to be there or you've got this situation that's just so difficult. The same thing with mental illness. And we want to help our children with mental illnesses. We need to. And mental illness is on the rise. It's, um, it's epidemic is it's it's almost epidemic but at the same time we don't need to sacrifice everything so we want to put some boundaries down stick to those boundaries and yes there is a time to have a child with a mental illness or a child with an addiction there is a time to ask that child to move out of your house and what if you have a child who's belligerent and refuses to move out of your house then uh, Sometimes you have to do a legal eviction notice where you actually go, even if the child isn't paying rent, where you actually go to court or get the paperwork, serve the notice, give the child 30s or 60 days, whatever the law in your state requires, to where you actually go through that process of evicting the child. Because believe it or not, there are legal rights that the child has as a person living in your home. And if the child is somebody who is expecting you to pay for everything and you have got fallen into that place where you are miserable and the child is spending your money and bankrupting you and you know all you're doing all this kind of stuff, I mean seriously consider getting strong enough to set some boundaries. And that all of my other videos on my channel can help you with that. To getting strong, to learning how to detach, learning how to take care of yourself. Also my books that are available on my website go into that and get strong enough to where you're willing to say no because you are not stuck living with a child who uh, can do anything and everything and have you pay the price. So uh, again, this is how you deal with adult children, children living at home. I hope this was helpful. And please check out my website, changemyrelationship.com, for more resources, books, studies. Uh, you could write to me and ask me questions about your particular dilemma at, on my website to my email, and I will answer you. So thank you very much for watching this video on Change My Relationship.